Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humble here bringing you a brand new upload and today we are going to be covering how to stop FPS drops and lag in Fortnite. I'm going to be going over everything to give you guys an FPS boost. This is going to be for PC, so if you're on console, I'm sorry, but this is going to be a deep dive for my PC boys. I'm going to be going through tons of files, tons of different strategies, so it's going to be super sick. Hope y'all stick with me for this whole video. It's definitely going to help your PC run way better. Just make sure y'all drop a sub with notice if I do go on to help you and a like on this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Let's get into the video, man. All right, guys, so for the first step in this FPS boost, all you're going to want to do is just be on your desktop and come down here and click your file explorer. And then you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and you'll find the local disk. So now you just want to click on that and then click on this PC. It's going to be right next to local disk. And just at the very bottom, you'll see your local disk. This is my C drive, which is what I play Fortnite on. Make sure you guys are, if you have two drives on your PC, you're clicking on whatever one has Fortnite on it, which you can just check pretty easily. But then you're gonna to wanna to right click on your local disk drive, and you're gonna go down to properties like I am right now. So from properties, you're just gonna to wanna to click this right here, disk cleanup, click that. And then this will take, you know, pretty a second. It'll take like under a minute. You guys will watch right now. It's just going to be cleaning, you know, to calculate how much space we have here. And, you know, I'm not super great with PCs or anything, but all these things I've learned from very, very good, uh, you know, PC tweakers, because I've had a lot of people work on my computer and I'm basically just giving you guys this information that I've learned from them. So yeah, man, there's tons of different people I can credit there, tons of guys on Twitter, but that's where I'm getting all this information from and it definitely has helped me a lot with my FPS. So now while this is just sitting here calculating, should be done in one second. This is gonna be a pretty easy step. It's not gonna mess up any of your files or delete any important files. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And now we are here. So all you're going to wanna to do under disk cleanup is just check mark the files that are not checked here. Let me just double check, everything's checked. And all you're gonna do from here is just click okay and then delete files. Now this is not going to delete anything that you need, okay? I know it looks sketchy, but you're all good here, okay? So don't worry about it. It's not gonna delete like any of your game files, anything that you guys need. It's all it's doing is cleaning up temp files. Don't worry about it like at all, okay? So now this will take a second. I will fast forward through this part right now. Okay guys, and once that cleaning is complete, you're just gonna wanna find yourself back on the local disk property screen, just like you were before. Uh, it should stay open, no reason it should have closed. But right here next to general, you're just gonna wanna go over to tools right next to it, and then go down here to optimize and defragment drive. And you're just gonna click optimize right there. So now once you click optimize, you're gonna see this screen and you're just gonna see hard disk drive is selected just like I have it, just blue selected, and then click optimize. Now this will take a second guys, just let this process run. It, I promise none of this is gonna do any harm to your computer. This is all stuff that I 100% know works really well. You know, I would never put something in a video that I thought could harm your guys' computer. So please have faith in me for that process. Like I just, you know, I've taken this information from a lot of people who know what they're talking about. But yeah, just let this thing run out right here. It's gonna take a little second to defrag. Just don't worry about it, let it run. And whenever you catch up, we're moving on to the next part of the video. So just pause it and wait. But yeah, let's get into part number two of this FPS boost. Okay guys, so for the next step of this FPS boost tutorial, we are going to be coming back to our desktop here, just like we did before. And this time we're going to go down to the Windows search bar and you're going to want to type in just as I do, edit power plan, just like that, all spaced out, it should come up just like this. And you just wanna click on it, open it, and go over to the third option here, which is power options. So now that we're at power options, some of you guys may have this on balanced right here. You wanna make sure you're turning this to high performance, okay? We're getting the most out of our PC CPU doing this. It's basically just making sure your PC is running as optimal as possible. But now the next step to this, it's gonna make it even better, is to go on the highest performance possible. So here's what we're gonna to do to do that. Just go back down here to your Windows search bar and type in command prompt, just like that. And then once you guys have command prompt here, you're gonna to wanna to right click on it. Do not open it yet, right click on it and click run as administrator, just like so. So now once command prompt is open, you are going to want to control V or copy and paste in the code line I have sitting in the description right now. You guys will see it first thing in the description. Just scroll, it'll be very obvious. It's going to look just like this. So I click control V, don't touch anything else. Just control V it right in, just copy paste. And you're gonna see this and then you wanna click enter, okay? So now that's in there, you just wanna close out of uh, command prompt and then close out of this and then reload edit power plan and then you go back over here to power options 
And now you're going to want to click this little drop down carrot right here. And you will now see at the bottom ultimate performance mode. Okay, so this is going to give yourself the best performance possible. It says for higher end PCs, but this will help you guys out if you're on a low end PC. It does not really matter. This is just uh, Windows presets. So just ignore that. This is going to give you the most for your PCs, you know, energy output. So you just check that right there. And yeah, guys, that's all for this step of the video. Now we're going to get in some really good NVIDIA settings. And uh, yeah, let's go. Next up. Okay, guys, so now to go over my NVIDIA control panel settings, and then we're going to finish this video off afterwards with my favorite program to run to stop input delay, to stop FPS drops. I'll be going over that right over the NVIDIA control panel settings, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. But so all we need to do here for NVIDIA control panel is just click on it, right? Really straightforward. We're going to be opening it. You just right click anywhere on your desktop to pull that up. Just right click and it'll be there. And then you want to go to manage 3D settings. So for this stage, this is very basic. I've had some of the best tweakers in the community that work on, and if you guys don't know, tweaker in this context simply means somebody who works on PCs for professional Fortnite players on Twitter. And these are basically the settings that they have given to me. So now I'm just passing this on to you. This is information that I had to pay to get, you know, I had to pay for these optimizations and I'm just giving it to you guys completely for free. So as you guys can see right here, you can just pause along with me and I will be just scrolling through. So we're at the bottom here, DSLR smoothness. We're going to go down to right here. And you guys can literally just pause and copy and pause and copy. We're almost done. And then we will go over my favorite program to run while you're playing Fortnite to lower that delay, baby. So yep, that's all it is for me. I mean, guys, with everything else here, just to give you guys a couple ideas of things you can do to make your game look better with certain color blinds, you can go down here and mess with the digital vibrance. I have mine up to about 70, you know, pushing 70 here. I'll actually apply that. But yeah, digital brightness is just going to make your game a lot brighter. You can also up your brightness a bit, which I actually want to do. So you guys can see when the game gets dark, you know, with those moments where the game gets dark, those are just kind of visual options, but I figured I'd just throw that in for you guys really quickly on this part. But now let's get into my favorite program to run in the background of Fortnite to lower that input delay. Let's go. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go and go over my favorite FPS boost program to help maintain frames while you're actually on Fortnite. You're going to want to have this program open every time you're playing Fortnite. I swear by it. It's helped my frames become way more stable. I've been using it for a very long time out of all the ones I've tried this is the best I'll be all giving the best settings I'll be giving you the way to extract it download it keep it open everything I'm gonna just the all-in-one right here for intelligence standby list cleaner is the name of the program I'm not sponsored in any way by this you know program just so you guys know but all you're going to do is go to Google and you're going to type in I S and then an L and a C just as so intelligence standby list cleaner then click enter okay so then what will come up is this right here at the top you want to tap on that the first one and you'll see all this stuff all the releases and patch updates just scroll through all this coming to the bottom here at official download here you want to tap that once for the extraction and then once this is done you just click on it and then go over here to the three dots and you want to put that on your desktop just to make this as you know seamless as possible you don't have to do this step but i recommend it so you click ok and then click extract to desktop you want to minimize that program out and now we have ISLC on our desktop. So you just want to double click on that. And then the top one right here, you just double click that as well. And then this will pop up. Sometimes it won't come up just a rule of thumb. If it doesn't, you just check this little up carrot down here and you will see it running right here. Then you can right click and just open this program from down here. But that's what it looks like inside of your task manager. If you just, you know, in case it doesn't come up, that happens to me sometimes. So the first thing they're going to want to do here to optimize this is just check both of these boxes in the lower left. All this is going to do is whenever you log on to your PC, the program will automatically open, which is obviously really efficient because we don't want to be having to do all this every single time we want to play Fortnite. So just have it automatically open. And then now getting into the list size is at least, it should be preset here at 1024 megabytes, which we want to stay at. But then free memory is lower than, we want to go with 8,000 down here, okay? So just put it in 8,000. And that's all you got to do there. So now heading up to wanted timer resolution, instead of doing the one here, you just want to take that out, go right in here on the inside of the decimal and just put a five. And so we're doing 0.50 instead of one. This is basically just going to lower your input delay is like, you know, the basis of fear and then enable custom timer resolution. We have to make sure we check this right here as well. Just ignore the advanced customers and the donate. You don't have to do any of that at all, guys. And then down here at ISLC polling rate, which is near the bottom, you're just going to switch this from 1000 all the way up to 10,000, okay? And that is the last step. You guys do not have to purge the standby list. It will do that automatically. Uh, and then you just wanna go up here and click start. So now this is all locked in and running and you never wanna X out of this program. You just wanna have it minimized and it will always be sitting 
down here. So whenever you get on, you wanna make sure you guys check over here to see if it is running. And if it's not, you can simply click the folder uh, like so and just open it back up from the file itself. But it should, as long as you check those two boxes in the lower left, it should be running in the bottom right every time you get on Fortnite. I promise you guys will notice a difference. Please comment below if you do notice a difference because I do swear by this program. Okay guys, and that's going to do it for this FPS Boost tutorial. I hope some of these tips end up helping you guys out a lot. Make sure you drop a sub if they do. These videos do take a lot of time to make and a lot of research. So if you guys do enjoy them, man, make sure y'all drop a sub for any of my other content. Drop a like and a comment if it did go on to help you. But without further ado, have a wonderful day, man. Peace out, guys.